Many ask, why is there a Pride Month? Where did it come from? Why do they get a month? People ask these questions without fail every June. Pride Month not only commemorates the Stonewalling Riots, a pivotal turning point in the organization of the equality movement, but also those that fought for equality for the LGBTQ plus community long before Stonewall. As well, it celebrates the community and those that are currently fighting for equality. So how did we get here? To rainbows, celebrations, and even a government recognized month? To answer this, we must go back to 1969 and the Stonewall Inn. But first, a little history. In 1969, in cities and states across America, it was illegal to simply exist as a member of the LGBT community. New York City was no different. In the lead up to the Stonewall riots, many members of the community were beaten, sometimes killed by police during raids on places known as safe spaces for the queer community. This brings us to the Stonewall Inn. The Stonewall, built in 1934, was bought by the mob in 1966, which convinced police to turn a blind eye to what was going on at the establishment through bribes. This, of course, didn't stop the raids from happening, but the bar would be notified ahead of time by police in most cases before a raid took place. This didn't happen the night the raids took place that started the six days of riots and the protests became known as the Stonewall Riots. Considering at the time that not only would it rip your family apart if you were a member of the LGBTQ community possibly, and you could lose your job, but also you could be arrested, beaten, and killed simply for being a member of the LGBTQ community. The mob saw this as an opportunity for extortion especially for those people who were not out publicly. In fact, at the time, the mob owned a number of gay bars in the area to extort patrons in order to not be outed. They didn't do this because they supported the LGBTQ community. They did it because they saw that they could extort money from the community. There is some disagreement, though, as to who started the riots the morning of June 28, 1969. Unlike today, cell phones weren't around, so nobody could record what took place. All we have are some photographs of what took place. So we have no proof of who exactly started the riots. It's been said that Marsha P. Johnson, an icon in the LGBTQ community, had started the riots by throwing a brick, although nobody can prove that she did. And she was clear in later years that she wasn't there when the riots began. Regardless, she is still viewed as a big icon in the LGBTQ community because of all her activism and work she did before and after Stonewall. She passed in 1992. The riots at the Stonewall Inn lasted for six days. They began in the early morning hours, just before 1.30 a.m., as a raid took place on the Stonewall on June 28, 1969. Just a few weeks prior, there had been a raid at the bar, and the bar had been notified ahead of time, but there would be no tip-off this night. Nobody knows exactly what set off the riots, but there is a belief among some that the people just decided not to take the abuse any longer. As the raid came through the doors, they started trying to haul people away, and people outside started throwing rocks and bricks, even pennies and nickels, at the officers, according to witnesses. 
This led the same police officers to barricade themselves in the very establishment they were raiding. Some people recall crude Molotov cocktails that were thrown through the windows, and according to some onlookers, you could see puffs of smoke inside the stone wall. Over the course of the next six days, until July 3rd, 1969, the rioters and protesters were being arrested, some of them beaten, but they kept fighting back. In the end, nobody was killed. Some people were injured, and 21 people were arrested. A lot has been said about the Stonewall riots in the decades since, but they were definitely a pivotal point in the LGBTQ movement. A year after the Stonewall riots, the first Pride celebration took place, and 30 years later, Pride Month was signed into law as a recognized month by the federal government of the United States of America by then-President Bill Clinton in 1999. So why is there a Pride Month? It's because some people in 1969 at the Stonewall Inn made clear that the LGBTQ community was not going to stand around and be abused any longer. In the years after Stonewall, there are some 400 different LGBTQ organizations created to help fight for the community and for the rights of the LGBT people. Marsha P. Johnson and several others created groups to help fight for the rights for the LGBTQ community. This is why there's pride, and that is why there is a Pride Month. Regardless of who started the riots, the riots at the Stonewall were pivotal in gaining rights for the LGBTQ community.